Hey, it's Christy with Teaching Tech Together. Today I'm going to show you how to make an icebreaker activity for your students called Guess My Favorite Place, or you can even do Guess My Favorite Food, Guess My Favorite Activity. It's just taking an image and showing only a portion of it, masking the rest of it, and having students guess based on the clues that they have left in the image what the answer is. So the first thing you're going to do is start with an image, and I insert this one from my drive, but you can definitely go to insert image, search the web, and Monterey Bay Aquarium is one of my favorite places. You can select one of the kelp forests or whatever you'd like. You can even teach the students this activity that they can create and we can all guess as their classmates um, what their favorite place is. So what you're gonna do to mask part of the image is you're just going to crop it with a shape. So you're gonna select the image and instead of selecting crop image, you're gonna select this triangle drop down menu where it says mask image. You're gonna hover over shapes and go to the one you want. I'm gonna use a circle today. And you can see it's already masking the sides. I'm going to double click though, because the blue frame means that you're gonna adjust the size of the image and the pixels. It could distort it. But if you wanna adjust how it's cut, you're gonna double click it and then the frame comes up. So you're gonna click, hold and drag to the portion of the picture you want the students to be able to see. So there, that's the picture I want students to be able to see. I'm then going to select the background image by right clicking, hovering over background and going to white. And I'm gonna download this as a PNG. Then I'm going to upload that into my drive. So when I assign it, it's easily accessible. You can also upload it from your computer. That is not a problem. Now I want this image to go back to where it was so I can give the kids the answer. I'm gonna double click on it again, and now I'm gonna go over to mask image, and instead I'm going to select the shape of a rectangle so that I can open it back up. You can also select undo if you'd like, whichever is your preference. Click off the image and you can see the image is back to what it was. I'm also gonna file, download as a PNG, so this will be the answer key.